Hey you guys, this is Sasha and welcome back to my channel. OMG, OMG, 30 weeks you guys, 30 weeks, over 75% of the way there and I am so excited. So first and foremost, let me, my wonderful friend who watches this, she got me this planner and I've been using it to like write my life in there because the pregnancy brain is real y'all. So let me just jump right in to where we're at today. So today, baby is the size of a large cabbage. So that's pretty cool because I just ate some cabbage last week, but I didn't think about um, him being that size. And if you didn't get to watch my last video, that's where I announced his name and his name again is Josiah, um, in case you did not know that. Um, let's see, he's a little under three pounds, but I will find out when I get my third trimester ultrasound in the next few weeks or so so I'm looking forward to seeing his little face seeing his features my husband and I have been kind of like doing a guess is he gonna look more like me is he gonna look more like him when Shalea did or is he gonna be like a mixture of us both so um definitely been kind of excited about that but I'll get to all that stuff later when we talk about emotions um, physical symptoms, you guys. <sighs> I have quite a bit, and I am going to go back to single week videos as it gets closer. It's just right now, I didn't feel like anything exciting is going on, but my NSTs and everything are going to be starting soon, and I am done traveling, at least for now, we believe we're done traveling. So, we don't have anything to do except to rest relax and get ready for baby boy so physical symptoms i'm going to kind of scoot up and maybe you can see it i'm going to get real close i have i don't know if it's acne i don't know what it is it is so irritated like i'm finding myself scratching all the time i've been putting some aloe vera um gel on there just because aloe is very soothing to the skin but yeah it just has been doing it for several days and it's kind of uncomfortable I make sure I wash it's not really any blemishes but it definitely feels like active acne um, it's just real subtle so if you know what that is or you've experienced it or you got some remedies for it please leave that down below because it's driving me nuts <laughs> um, another thing is I'm tired all the time like if I wouldn't have forced myself to film like I'm supposed to and edit on days where I'm supposed to so that I can get it out on a regular schedule I would be asleep right now which is what I've been doing every day and I notice um, from traveling that my recovery time is a lot longer it's like I come home and if we came on a weekend treat trip I have to sleep Monday night, Tuesday night, and Wednesday. So I'm very exhausted, and I know that's to be expected, but I'm like exhausted when I'm at work, and then I'm exhausted as soon as I leave home from work. It's like I can barely make the 30 minute drive home, um, and I just am trying to figure out what I can do. I keep trying to walk and stay up. Today I came home, went, um, sorry, got off work, went and got some groceries, cook dinner, vacuum, straightened up, like try to do, a, you know, several things to keep my energy up. And of course, it's filming for you all, but exhaustion is really something else. Um, let's see, <laughs> this is a little TMI. When I am sneezing, like, or coughing, I am peeing on myself. Like, a liner has to be on deck every day, backups in my purse, in my work bag because it is serious like way way more intense sooner than it was with my last pregnancy it's like crazy I'm sure if somebody tickled me I would just fully peel myself so it's really kind of uncomfortable because I'm a high school teacher and for the most part I really like to keep myself so I go to the restroom a lot during work 
Uh, thank God for student assistants that can watch the class because I have to go so I don't pee on myself. And this is like an everyday occurrence. And most people probably be like, man, she's just going to the restroom a lot, which I do. And frequent urination is definitely in play, but the coughing, the sneezing, it's allergy season for me anyway. Uh, it's just a hot mess. So send up some prayers for me that I can keep it together until I get off work in like seven and a half ish weeks. Um, let's see heartburn. Let me describe this heartburn because again, I don't want this video to get too long, but you know, this is over a two week span y'all. So I want to make sure you feel like you're in the loop with this journey. Let's see, it's itching right now. But the heartburn, my, t my chest starts feeling really tight and hot almost like i'm about to have an asthma attack because i've had asthma ever since i was nine but then it's not that i normally like have to take deep breaths and then it just gets warm so it's a different kind of heartburn i think i had more acid reflux last time but i'm definitely experiencing some heartburn i just try to drink cool water i'm not even taking tums because i don't feel like tums help me at all um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's something else I need to be doing. But some cold water out the refrigerator seems to do the trick to keep it at bay. And I feel like as long as I'm okay with it, then it's just one of those things when you're pregnant, you just go through. So I don't know if that's right or wrong. You can let me know if I'm off bases there. Um, my belly button, you'll see in the belly shot, my belly button is sticking out, which is really cool. It kind of did it um, a few weeks ago. I kind of noticed it was pushing out, but it's pushing out. And I've never had an Audi in my life, so it kind of just feels stretched. And because I'm poking out so much, as you probably saw in the thumbnail, uh, I just seem really large, really large, even though I've gained less weight this pregnancy at this point, like a lot less. Um, like nine pounds plus than I did my first pregnancy. So I don't know what's going on y'all. I just try to drink smoothies every day for breakfast, eat a decent lunch and a decent dinner. And I'm not a big snacker. If I snack on something, it'll be like grapes or nectars or kettle chips when I'm feeling really sick. Oh, praise reports, no more nauseousness. Okay, let me knock on some wood I have not thrown up since I mentioned it in that video like I've been completely fine these last two weeks no symptoms no nothing when I travel this time I decide to forego breakfast and then just drink some water and wait until I kind of had settled in off the road and then I just ate a pretty decent sized lunch as, as best as I could because I don't eat a lot when I'm on the road I just my appetite is just gone because I think I'm so tired and then I'll eat um like a normal dinner so it's not like I eat more because I travel I actually eat less but um I was very impressed with myself by the fact that um it seems to be under control when I modify eating when I'm traveling until later in the afternoon and then I'll take my supplements and vitamins then another thing is Braxton Hicks so I traveled to Virginia this weekend and we went for church and I was having Braxton Hicks, like probably these contractions, maybe two an hour and it'll be intense. Like whew, sitting there, that's what I have to do because it gets tight y'all. It gets tight. I don't remember having Braxton Hicks or maybe I didn't know what they were. But I do not remember feeling them like I feel them this pregnancy. But again, I'm not complaining. I'm all for it. But it's just like, whoa, when things hit. So that's pretty much it for the physical, um, really gassy like normal. But that's, that's normal pregnancy symptoms. Best moment of the week is finishing traveling. And we finished the nursery in week 29 before we left. So, um... I really am on the countdown. I have all my videos. I know what I'm recording. I know what I'm sending out to you guys. Um, I'm not worried about a nursery tour because that's already going to be full in effect. Um, I'm going to have another baby haul and this is going to be things that were gifted as well as 
things that we have purchased and so that'll be another haul that I do I still want to do my pregnancy acne routine and a sip and sit probably two more sip and sits but we got eight weeks y'all I got plenty of time to do what I need to do editing is not that difficult for me so I'm really excited about what's going on um I just real chill you guys real chill and tired and emotional so i do want to go into the emotional and then i like did two mommy buys and then belly shop but if i seem out of sorts i will not lie i am a week well next friday on september 30th is a year since we found out that shalaya had passed and i have a lot of mixed feelings about it and then she was born on the third so i am going to take off work my husband and i we're going to kind of do some things to ourselves because it's just really emotional it's been a lot of crying that's been going on these last couple weeks today when i was at walmart shopping there was a baby girl crying and she had the exact same diaper bag as shalaya had and i just i felt really emotional because every person when they find out they're pregnant they fantasize about what their child is going to be boy girl like what the future is going to tell like most people naturally can't help but to do that and for everything to have occurred and i'm so happy and so blessed that we made it to the point of knowing that she was a girl and seeing her features but it hurts, it just hurts. There is no planning a first birthday. There's no none of that. It is just very painful. And so I've been out of sorts because I don't really know how to handle it. Um, I really don't know how to handle it. Um, and it's like every time I break down, then he starts kicking like kind of like hey mom I'm here it's gonna be okay but I think about the fact that I have two children and it's just like I'm trying not to cry right now um it's just very bittersweet and I'm trying to like get excited and I've been getting a couple things and really like yay but at the same time, I'm scared because I have been here. I've been all the way to the end and then things just not work out and it does play with me mentally. And so I just try to take one day at a time, take a deep breath. Um, I rest a lot, I watch a lot of videos. I've kind of gone back to the beginning. I've been watching a lot of stillbirth videos and like how people have gotten through it and just different suggestions that they've had. And I know some people might think that that's morbid. I'm not saying that I think that our son's not gonna make it. I'm more so missing Shalea. And I still haven't gotten to the point where I've been able to watch her stillbirth video. And it has had so many views and I, I don't even think I make it a minute in before I just can't do it. So, yeah. I'm just trying to like stay positive and stay encouraged and just just make it through and for anybody who's going through this or has gone through this I definitely keep prayers up for you on a daily basis because it's not just like the first year it's the rest of your life and balancing what you have gone through so that's what's going on there so again i apologize if i seem out of sort it's just been very emotional for me i've cried already like three times today and i really just am trying to make it through this video with some optimistic you know feelings about everything going on on a different note it is fall and so i have my fall lipstick on which really warms me up at least i think in appearance <laughs> And I got two things. So I'm trying to get my hospital bag together because that's the thing for October, having his bag packed for the hospital and my bag packed for the hospital. 
And so I got these nightgowns at Target. They were on sale. The first one is similar to the, it was like black and white with teal um, lining around it. I got it from Target last year. And this was a little bit more pricier. This was, is this nine? Yeah, $9.98, but I thought it was so cute. It's got shorts on the top, and I run hot. Like, I'm warm now, so I turn the air on so I can film this and not be, like, sweating. But I like the design of it. It's flowers. Um, just because it's November, I don't really want dark stuff. I want to feel bright and airy. And then I got this one, too. I thought it was too cute. This is another short and top set, but this is um, a 2X. And I got that because I was like, I, maybe I want to wear that now while I'm pregnant and not take that to the hospital. This one was on sale for $5.98. And the other gown was extra large. And I like for my gowns to be loose and stretchy. So could I wore a smaller size? Yes. But after giving birth, your skin already feels funny and stretched like an old tire. <laughs> and you just want to be comfortable. So that was my... Thing here but I think these are super cute and so I got those yesterday along with some other baby buys that will be in the next video well not next video the next baby haul that's what I mean um let's see appointments I have a doctor's appointment that's coming up Wednesday and that will be just a regular appointment they will set up my ultrasound so maybe next video if this will probably this might be my last two week in between or i might do a 31 32 and i'm sure i will have my ultrasound by then so i'll be able to be more accurate in what baby boy is measuring and everything going on there and then i start my nsts my non-stress test so a lot is going on that's why i said i'm going to go back to um single weeks instead of doubling them up but i wanted you to have something really um to update on like well for me to update on because uh, I felt like it for a while I wasn't updating on anything real exciting so that's what's going on there um, another thing before I give you the belly shot there is this brand new line at um, Target freaking love it it's called Cat and Jack so if you have little girls little boys whatever the case look online and look at some of this stuff it is so freaking cute i'm telling you i think it's just like the cutest thing and i love the tones and how they're matching it uh, i feel like it's really helpful for people who are on the go and you don't have time to be real matchy mitch matchy and you know and your baby have this whole huge warm up warm up <laughs> wardrobe so i got some pieces from there but you'll see that in the baby haul part two that'll be coming up probably in october I'm just giving myself some time to really process because the one year anniversary is coming up and I need to keep my wits about me and all that other good stuff. So I thank you so much for watching. I know this is a little long. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Um, it was just I had so much I wanted to talk about this go around and I didn't think I was going to have that much to talk about. And um, I just appreciate again the love and the support. I'm sorry I'm a little slow on commenting. Hopefully I will have commented on the last video um, before I post this video. That is my goal. But I thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. And I will see you in the next video and end with a belly shot. Bye. Because there's such a discrepancy on are you third trimester 27 weeks or 28 so now I can officially say happy third trimester so I miss you guys so so much but I'm just gonna jump right